send it over to meteorologist Stacy Donaldson with your first alert forecast. Yeah, an interesting twist here on this storm. It's not one of those heavy hitters with the snowfall. It's really the ice component of things, especially across the eastern plains. It'll be troublesome here into the next 48 hours. So we have light snow that's been pushing up from the south off and on. You've probably experienced it here throughout the metro area. Also up into the hills, we've had some light snow as well. Definitely just a few flakes flying here and there, maybe uh, accumulating on the grassy areas, but that's about it. Our Colorado camera network looking down across the city. It's very quiet. Our temperature 32 degrees downtown 33 at DIA and our winds out of the northwest at about six miles an hour. So the light snow will continue in through tonight and even into early tomorrow morning. So we could get a couple of inches out of this before all is said and done, but a really quick turnaround into next week with our temperatures getting back up into the 40s and 50s into next week. So this is going to be just one cold spot spot for us here in through tonight and tomorrow. But you see we've had a little bit of that snow coming up through our area also across the eastern plains and down to the south. A lot of that falling apart right now, but it's part of a bigger system. This low, as it continues to push off to the east, is still wrapping this moisture back around, and we're kind of on the back side of it. The bulk of the moisture is here to the central plains down into Texas. It's rain mixing with ice. It's making just a huge ice skating rink out of the central plains. But for us tonight, we'll have light snow around 7 o'clock, 31 degrees. That snow continuing into the early morning hours of tomorrow. Uh, so as you head out the door, tomorrow morning for your holiday. It looks like we'll be dealing with some light snow continuing to fall. This will be around midnight tonight and we have snow from Denver across the plains a little heavier toward Pueblo, Lamar and Trinidad and it'll continue to kind of wrap around here in through 630 in the morning. We'll see that snowfall out toward Burlington. Could see some ice mixed in with that and even by the time we get to 10 a.m. still light to moderate snowfall here for the front range and the plains. Once we get past noon things start to quiet down and the snow moves out and then we're sitting pretty for the remaining remainder of the week. As for tonight, though, we have a winter storm warning in effect here for southeastern Colorado and an ice storm warning here for many states off to our east and it extends in through Monday morning. Here's that winter storm warning until tomorrow for about three to six inches of snow with ice. And then we'll also have that winter weather advisory here all the way from Alamosa and Salida to Colorado Springs up toward Akron and Sterling. Wanted to zoom in a little bit more here around Denver to show you that winter weather advisory is down toward Castle Pines, Castle Rock and Elizabeth in through tonight and early tomorrow. As for inches, we're talking with the storm, a couple here around Denver, a little heavier toward Colorado Springs and up in the mountains, about four to five inches of snow before all is said and done, about one to three here for the eastern plains also. So tonight, 25 degrees with light snow continuing, and we'll have those temperatures in the teens and 20s for the mountains, mostly 20s for the eastern portion of our state. Tomorrow, 38 for our high with morning snow and then clearing later in the day. We'll have 30s for the western slope and for the Denver metro area, a little warmer up toward Fort Collins and on the seven day forecast. I said there was a quick turnaround. We'll go into the 50s on Tuesday, get in the upper 50s by Thursday and partly cloudy skies by Friday with temperatures in the 40s going into Saturday and Sunday with a few flurries possible on Saturday as another storm system comes our way. But yeah, this is an interesting twist on our storm this time because there's just that component of ice versus all the snow we're used to getting rolling through making things a little bit dangerous. Yeah, out there a little bit. For us. OK, mm -hmm. thank you, Stacy.